Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's up two. And by the way, I'm doing for this on Thursday. I don't know if y'all, man. Breaking news, man. You know about Corner Ronda, man. How Corner Ronda got died for, um, you know, for guns and drugs, man. How how that. He was involved at the top of Street Gang. I said, out there in Georgia, man. How he probably was. Uh, I said, uh, others, um. I said, Corner Ronda, since he's, um, gang, how, how, like, the cops that got him were died, man. So, where they fought some guns and drugs, man. How the hate, um, you try and kill him. You know, hemmed up, man, I, you know, in jail and stuff. Like, the rapper, Conrado, he's doing a lot of time, so he's in jail, you know, out there in Georgia, man. How he's, uh, you know, a, uh, uh, as a rapper, I guess, in Georgia, how's a rapper, I do. How that, he was signed to, to, um, to the rapper, me on board label, man. How the dude, you know, got a lot of money, how he just, you know, had, you know, had, you know, lost his freedom right there, man. But for like that, the rapper had, you know, did some good in the past few days, and how he went back to doing that. Now he's in jail, man, for him trying to sell, I think, drugs. I say, you know, outside of uh, Savannah. Um, yeah, I had, like, you know, I watched some type of, like, uh, part of the um, news uh, to where they said that he trying to sell um, some drugs, you know, I think from, uh, I think, Atlanta or somewhere back in Georgia to where they said that, you know, he may have trying to, like, you know, a drug transaction out there, how they made a type of drug transaction to, um, from Atlanta to Macon, Georgia. Uh, a part of Georgia, but and how they um, how a couple of dudes, I see have about him. I said with guns and stuff, and how the um, um, so I probably say that he's his his um his clique, trying to give some um, he's trying to give some guns and you know some um uh, guns, pistols, AK four sevens, man um, the guns, pistols, man how they try and give him some guns to you know to have I guess on um uh, how they got him. Him up for the guns and joy charges and how he's still, you know, getting jammed up right now. So, how, I don't know, I guess it's, I don't know, I guess it's, you know, kind of like, you know, not the good for the rapper, how he, uh, how he get kind of like getting jammed up right now. So, he's, he's in jail. So, he's, you know, out there in jail, you know, in, uh, in Georgia, facing some time. So, I feel like, dude, I don't know, the current Rondo, man, he lost his freedom right there, man. Basically, trying to be in the streets, man, how the street shit can't get you locked up, man, how... How it's real life, it can get you locked up, man. You know, put your arms under, man, or dead, man. How the rappers don't know how, like, you know, transition. I say from being street, um, yeah, I say from being streets until being rappers. So I think rappers who get it probably rob a lot of street stuff means that things can happen, things can, can transpire, man. But you know, but stuff like that, you know, he's fighting his uh, charges, man. How he faced the charges out there in Georgia, man. So, um, yeah, um. So I probably do a clip of y'all for y'all. Um, y'all probably do this clip new for y'all. So you know, so smash that like, comment, in, subscribe to peace. Amaya, take care, peace. Savannah rap star indictment. Quando Rondo is sitting in the Chatham County Jail after the district attorney indicted him for gang and drug charges. As WJCL 22 News' Nakaya Carrero reports, the indictment includes 18 other people. In my hand is the 17-page, 49-count indictment dating back to October 2022. And it's the reason why rapper Quando Rondo is sitting in the Chatham County Jail since June 16th. The rapper, whose real name is Taekwon Bowman, is at the top of the list of defendants in the indictment. He is facing two counts of conspiracy to violate the Georgia Controlled Substances Act, one count of illegal using communication facility, and a count for violating the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. The artist is signed to rapper NBA Youngboy's Never Broke Again record label. The indictment indicates that Rondo is the leader of the Rolling Sixties gang in Savannah. It also states that the rapper instructed other members to not carry guns in the car, but also told them to provide him with a firearm. Additionally, it reads Rondo set up drug sales and even drove to Macon to pay a supplier for marijuana on June 4th, 2023. As for the other 18 people, back in April, Savannah police arrested three men during their total focus operation, Tremaine Grant, Samuel Usman, and Angelo McNear, were arrested at a home on East 39th Street and are facing charges for fentanyl, trafficking, and illegally using a phone to set up drug sales.